Oh, hello. Hi, hi, how are you? <laughs> hey, dudes, what's up, dudes? JMO Cavalier here, and uh, right now I've got a gameplay of Team Deathmatch on Hotel for you guys, and I do believe that I use this noobish little <laughs> uh, tiger camo, silent spaz, the whole game. Um, that's not necessarily because it's a good gun, but more or less just because it's kind of fun to, like, camp, as you'll see me doing very well here, and uh, just kind of wreck noobs from behind, and so that's pretty much what's going on. Um, this gameplay is probably a week or two old. Uh, the map has been out for about that same amount of time now, and... Um, what I found almost immediately upon downloading this map pack was that these maps were... I mean, they're they are pretty balanced. They're pretty nice. They're pretty big. Um, I'm not... When it comes to Call of Duty, I'm not in favor of big maps because it takes forever to walk across the map and then you'll get killed by some really... I don't... You'll just get killed by something that you probably shouldn't have gotten killed by. And especially you didn't have to walk all the way across the map again and do that. But, um... What I found was that these maps were balanced and campy, and if you put on a silencer and ghost and flanked, you would be in tip-top shape. And so this match, I was like, hey, Max from T-Pone, you want to act like a total newbie girl with me and run around with this suppressed spaz? And he's like, oh, gee, I was going to do that anyway. And I was like, okay, well, let's do it. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much the strategy I rely on on this map um, up to this point and probably for... You know, I I don't have too much Black Ops left in me. Uh, my engine's kind of pointing towards empty. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of my strategy nowadays is to just play a lot uh, slower and more tactically and just kind of take things in and not sprint around the map all the time and go Rambo Beast mode like I did in Modern Warfare 2. But that also brings me to the next topic I'd like to talk about which is Modern Warfare 3. Now, the trailer came out yesterday, which was Monday, and it, like, I really, really, really was going to try not to get into Modern Warfare 3. Infinity Ward and Activision stabbed me in the back, and they have still not pulled out the knife with Modern Warfare 2 in how horribly they managed that game. But that trailer just, oh my goodness. Infinity Ward knows how to sell product. Um... And I, I was talking to Elusive Shark, and I told him the Infamy trailer for Modern Warfare 2, that might be my favorite theatrical trailer for any sort of product ever. That literally made me piss my pants the first time I saw it. And the game the game trailer last night, there wasn't really any gameplay, and Elusive Shark's opinion was, oh, generic action music, generic explosion scene. And I was like, Elusive Shark... Do you know why I buy video games? It's for generic music and generic explosions. <laughs> and so, I unfortunately am looking forward to that game. I do hope they left it on the Modern Warfare 2 engine because that engine was like beautiful and so not laggy. It was just great. But I do hope they took out some of some stuff. And uh, if you don't know what it is that I didn't like about Modern Warfare 2, just go watch some of my older videos and you'll get a pretty good example um so yeah um besides modern warfare 3 and uh the maps being campy call of the dead is awesome um these maps in general i just really really i don't know it's you know map packs are always nice and i've been enjoying them and i would definitely recommend them but um, that's definitely the only strategy I can recommend is either camp or flank, and uh, either way you're going to be you're going to be um, susceptible to the person in their team that's doing the opposite of you. But yeah, I mean, at a certain point, there's not really too much more advice I can give for Black Ops because you know I've said over and over and over, just play slower, um, pick some attachments and some weapons that fit your style, and just kind of go to work. Um, so yeah, I don't... I'm looking for my notebook here. I always jot down a few topics that I'd like to talk about before every commentary. And I've definitely covered Modern Warfare 3 in the maps. And 
And uh, something that's kind of just been on my mind lately is like public speaking. And I wouldn't, I mean, uh, gameplay commentaries like this aren't exactly like public speaking. There's not an audience in front of you, but at the same time, you're addressing an audience and you're trying to target um, a larger viewing source. And so it's kind of, I don't, I would like to consider myself a good public speaker. I definitely, um, when I first started doing commentaries, that was definitely more awkward than giving a speech or a presentation in public for me, just because I didn't really know what I was doing. But at this point, I've got, you know, maybe a couple dozen or so commentaries under my belt, and I pretty much know what I need to do. I need to be awesome, and then people will like it. I mean, and that's not that hard for me to do, because, <laughs> are you kidding me? I am awesome. I'm, like, the pinnacle of life. I'm like Tiger Woods, but, like, not a douchebag. So... Yeah, it's not that hard for me to make a good commentary. And, given the fact that I am Tiger Woods at Call of Duty, and, I, well, I'm not quite as good as Tiger Woods at golf, but I'm I'm, I'm pretty good. <laughs> um, but, yeah, our student body president is, like, the worst public speaker I've ever known. And he gives the announcements every morning, and he can't even read the names on the notes, right? And he just struggles, and it hurts me on the inside how bad he is at public speaking and just kind of I don't really know what my point is here it's just kind of something that I've been wanting to touch on is that you know when I first started doing commentaries I was like dude I do like I'll be on the shit and the respawn in no time and you know my notion was it can't be that hard to talk about a video game and make it interesting because I clearly already had the gameplay under control. The gameplays that you find on this channel and on my channel, I mean, you're not really going to find better gameplay on any other channel. I mean, you might find better scores, but as far as the way I play the game and how entertaining it is, you're not really going to find it better than anyone else. Just because... That's just the way it is. There's just some things in life that people are good at, and some things in life that people are not good at, and I would like to consider video games one of the things that I'm good at, because I spend a lot of my time focusing on video games and uh, just kind of electronic stuff in general. But yeah, uh, anyway, I would like to say, this gameplay is wrapping up, uh, I did end up getting a Blackbird with a Spaz and a Python, which is... I mean, you know, it's not that bad. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you can go check out some of my other videos, get some more views, get some more subscribers. We definitely appreciate that. And uh, if you get really bored, check out my Twitter. That's always entertaining. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys next time. See you later.